everyone. Can you hear me? All right. Okay. So I will jump in. I made a detour to the water station. All right. So we got a step, an adjustable step. If you have two size coffee tables, that works too. Anyhow, we're starting off with a really, really quick warm up. Yep, I got my tomato clock. Quick warm up. And then we're going to transition to step ups, also as part of our warm up. All right, we're going to do slow step ups. So feel free to go heavy, even though it's really considered our warm up. All right? Is that right? Is that right? All right, it's about a clock. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Okay, we're going to do against the wall. Wall sit. If you have a post, a beam in the house, in the garage, find a car, take it down. Or, pull the squat. I'm good with that. All right, so like I said, this is really, really great. All we have is 20 seconds of wall sit. We have 10 seconds of transition. And that's going to be into reverse lunges. So come forward, make sure you have lots of room behind you. In three, two, one, ready, set, reverse lunge, go. So remember on that reverse lunge, bring your body backwards. Don't stay over the front leg, all right? Don't let that belly touch the thigh. Keep that torso upright. Let's see if we can do one more. And back to the wall. Now that four of those, we are 25% done with our Tabata portion of the warm-up. Nice and low. After we finish with this, we're going to go into step ups. Again, 20 pounds, 25, 15, somewhere in there. We're going to couple that with an exercise on the floor. So have a towel and mat ready to go. Come back up forward. Yep. Reverse lunge. Keep that chest up for balance. Goes for anything, right? No matter what you do. Last one. All right, halfway there. <laughs> out in the field, out in the park, show me just a squat, a squat hold. Just up, shoulders, down and back, all the way against the wall. This is cheating. Nice and low. Sharp right, like an eye. Back to that reverse lunge.
performance. Now, all the way down. Right leg ready to go. Dumbbell behind the knee. Elbows on the ground. Five, six, two down. Up, 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 down, again. Two. Again. Now tempo. Give me eight. Eight. Seven. Heel close to that butt. Four. Hold on to that number. Two. One more. And switch. Dumbbell behind the knee. Elbows down. Push the ground away with the forearms. Lengthen through the spine. Ready, steady, two counts. Up, up, again. Up, up, two more split. Up, up, one more. Up, up, tempo. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. And in. All right, so next one, knee balance. So it's not a knee lift, it's a knee balance. Right foot on top. Make sure you have that baby toe grounded. Dig with that heel, baby toe grounded. Right foot on top. Find something to stare at, get your focal point ready. Up and go. Up and in. Two. Again. Three. Four. Five. Six. Up and in. Seven. Ten, woo! Eleven, three months, twelve, fifteen, ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. 
slow we go up up again up up two one more tempo goes seven six four three two one more and switch legs all right left knee is ready to go left hand is down right hand on the waist stack those joints slow two counts go up rotate again abduct rotate at the top two more One more. Up, up. Tempo. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. All right. Now, back to those lunges, and we're adding that balance progression. Tap. Stand two feet. It's a tap. Follow along with me. Just like the step ups, that toe taps behind. Right toe on top. Five, six, lunge. Right. Now come up and hold that tap. Hinge. Hold it. Up. Reverse lunge. Together. Feet together. And hinge. Right leg again. Down. Tap, hinge, up, reverse, feet together, and hinge, that's two, stay, up, hold it, up, reverse, together, hinge, that's three, this is four, Hold it. Up. Reverse. Feet together. Hinge. Halfway there. This one's long. Now use that baby toe on that hinge for balance. Up. Reverse. Together. Six. Six. Baby toes grounded. Reverse. Together. Two more. Seven. Round that baby toe. Push. Reverse. Together. One more time. Ten. Reverse. Together. Quick change. Left leg lunge. Down. Up. Hinge. Up. Reverse. Together. Push back. Left leg again. Lunge. Up. Hinge. Hold it. Reverse. Together. And hinge. We got it. Three. Yeah. Up. Up. Reverse. Together. Hinge. Working on four. Lunge. Balance. Hold it. And up. Together, halfway there. Lunge, stay. Hold it. Reverse. Together. That's five. Woo! Three more. Stay. Up. Push. Woo! Reverse. Together. 
down, do it again. Up, up, two more. Up, up, one more time. Up, up, do you have a question? Eight, seven, okay. One more, I swear I'm hearing things. <laughs>
One leg on the bench, one leg in the air. Double on the hip. Ready, set, go. Up, up. Do it again. Up, up. Two more. One more. Tempo. Eight. Seven. Six. Four more. One more. Quick change. Up, up, down, again. Up, up. Two. Up, up. One more. Tempo. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Okay, inner thighs, abductors, yay, so what I'm going to do is set my bench so that lower than the other. So, my butt's going to be on the high end, my head's on the low end. If you have high blood pressure, you're going to go flat. But, if you're flat on the floor, all you need to do is put your hands underneath your butt. The goal is, if you have tight hamstrings, I want to make sure that we can lift your bottom up so that your feet are over your hips and belly. Okie dokie. I don't want you working those hip flexors. I want you working inner thighs. However, we're going to start on our feet. All right, dumbbells. I'm not going to lie. I'm using eight. However, I'll recommend ten. But as I told everybody else, I hate sore inner thighs. I hate them. Hey, 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 strong word, but that's how I feel. Move this slightly over. So we're going to start standing up, feet together. I'm going to do a benefit for you. Let's go to the right. Start with your weaker leg. Let's assume your left is your weaker leg. Okay? Watch me. Hands on the hips. Easier. Hands on the shoulders, or the weights on the shoulders. Harder, okay? We're gonna go all the way into that lunge. Now when I push away, it's much harder to keep my torso still if my dumbbells are here. If they're here, it's not as great of a challenge for your form. Totally entirely up to you. Same work on the legs, it's just your midsection. Five, six, left leg diagonal. Hold it and push. Hold it and push. Three, four. I have good news. There's no balance progression. Two more. And instead of 12, it's only eight. Other side. Okay, so it's a diagonal. Right leg. Ready to go. Down. Uh, two. Uh, again. Woo! Uh, four. Five. If you're going faster than me, you need to go a little bit lower. Two more. Because I know your legs are not short of the mind. Woo! Oh. All right. Two minutes. On your back. 
on the toes. Out. Ready? Two counts. Out. 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 Perfect. 
be joining, huh? Six. Seven. Oh, last one. Eight. Oh, turn those down. I have my water ready. So on your back, your butt's on the high end. Your head is down. Legs up. Turn your toes out. Five, six, slow, we go. Out, out, up, I did. Two more go. Out, out, in. One more. Out, out. Jump up. Out, and in. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. And cross it front. Right leg, cross front. Out, cross back. And front, out, and back. Out, that's four. Out, that's three. Out, two, one more. Back to heel, quick. Only eight. Boom, seven. Boom, six. Five, four, three, two, one. stretch and I will change that CD. That is getting annoying. <laughs> Be right back. All right, straddle. So those inner thighs are gonna be sore. So I want you to start off in a strap. If you are not flexible, which is most of the world, right? What I want you to do is grab something to sit your butt on top of. A board, just a board, or a stack of mats, a yoga block, stack of magazines, it doesn't matter. Something so that your butt is elevated and your heels are down. Before you even go anywhere, take your tailbone and point it behind you. So, belly button towards the floor. Now, see if you can bring your hands forward more. Again, point the tailbone behind you. Make sure it's not cupped under you, but point that tailbone out. Open up the chest, lengthen the neck. Now see if you can round the upper body down. Inner thighs are gonna be sore. Now, take both hands over to the right and bring your nose to the knees. With your left hand, reach for the outside of your right foot. Big stretch from Monday. My lats are still sore. My lats and my obliques, my serratus, this whole area. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now turn sideways so that your right ear is to your right knee. Extend that arm, lengthen. Again, still stretching and lengthening those lats while stretching our adductors, our inner thigh, medial hamstrings. And up. Now let's do that again. Start from the beginning, point your tailbone behind you, belly button reaching for the floor. See if you can go a little bit further this time. Lengthen through the spine, point that tailbone behind you, belly button towards the floor, and then relax the upper body down. Walk both hands over to the left. Nose to the knee. Take your right hand, reach even further out, reaching to the outside of that left foot. Turn to the side, left ear, left knee, lengthen through that arm. Open up that chest. Oh. And up. All the way. Slowly bring your legs together. Shake them out. Point up to your hands and knees. On your hands and knees. More hamstring stretch. So ground your palms directly underneath your shoulders. With your feet behind you, tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Push the ground away. Tail lights up to the sky. Stretch those hamstrings. Now right here, Nod your head, yes. Shake your head, no. And relax that neck. Continue with the heels of your hands to push the ground away. And with your tail lights, point up to the sky. Open up those hamstrings. Now take your right leg up to the sky. With gravity, use momentum to bring that right knee between your hands. One, two, three, swing it forward. Now, if it didn't get there in one perfect swift motion, that's okay. Put your cheek down, move the dump, move the foot over so that your right heel is touching your left hip bone. And then see how low you can take it. Now, take that back leg, slide it backwards, all the way back. So you're getting even deeper into that right hip.
and lift the rib cage up, ground your palms, tuck your toes under, downward dog again. So stretch those hamstrings, push the ground away, tail lights up to the sky. And the left leg comes up. Use momentum. Swing that knee between your hands. And again, feel free to adjust, trying to get that heel to touch the opposite hip bone. And then down. Now if that back leg slide backwards, getting deeper into that hip. legs from here, roll over here, and then lean back on that left leg. See if you can get that left elbow down. She must have been by the door watching people go by. And if you can get both elbows down. Now remember, keep that knee down. If you can take it all the way to your back, go ahead and go for it. Just remember, the magic is in that knee on the floor. Don't let it pop up. Pops up, you lost it.
and slowly come on up. Crisscross applesauce. Grab your shins, inhale, look up to the sky, open up your throat. And center. Now, take both hands, rotate to the right, inhale, lengthen, exhale, rotate. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, rotate some more. And center. Inhale, open the throat. And neutral. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, rotate. Looking at that wall behind you. And center. Circle shoulders backwards. Three, two, one. Take a deep breath up, out. Big social distance circle hug and have a great night. I will see you tomorrow.